everyone, today we're gonna make a simple stabilizer with Raspberry Pi. In the next few minutes, you will learn to use the Python language to control the servo, read the attitude sensor information, and make a single axis stabilizer. In this tutorial, we may not explain some basic operations, but we'll provide a reference link and a way to search for related information. First, you need to prepare a Raspberry Pi, a servo with PWM signal control, MPU6050, extension wire, and power supply wire. Of course, a memory card bent the Raspberry Pi operating system. After that, install the servo to the correct position. You need to write the program to be executed in the Raspberry Pi. You can connect the display, keyboard, mouse, and other peripherals to the Raspberry Pi and write directly in the Raspberry Pi program. Also, you can search for the following content to send the program to the Raspberry Pi to run. Choose the method that suits you. Here, I used a sample program, mainly for a direct demonstration. Next, you need to make a simple stabilizer. First, fix the MPU6050 to the rocker arm of the servo with hot melt adhesive. If there is some waste material in hand, you can also install a grip on the servo. Here is the wire connection. Note that there are three types of encoding for the pins of Raspberry Pi. The default encoding scheme in the later program is BCM encoding. It doesn't matter if this is beyond you, just connect it as shown in the picture. The stabilizer is complete. Now we come to the program. First, we control the servo. Here include the libraries for servo control and delay, respectively. Meanwhile, instantiate it. Here, we define the pin number of the signal wire connecting to the servo. If your wiring method is different from mine, you need to change this value. And here, define the maximum pulse width and the minimum pulse width because the servos may vary slightly. Create a servo object. The servo is then swung back and forth between minus 1 and 1, with a delay of 1 second after each swing and prints a value representative of the current position. Run the program and the servos are in normal working condition. Then we need to install the MPU6050 library in the Raspberry Pi. Change the previous program after the installation is complete. Import MPU6050. Create an attitude sensor object. Read the y exit value of the attitude sensor and print it out. We put the code in a loop and comment out the previous code for the servo. Here we don't want the servo to move. From the program, we can read the current y exit value of the attitude sensor from the terminal. Then we can combine the code of the attitude sensor with the code of the servo, like this. We add another variable to control the position of the servo and change the variable of the servo position with the y exit value of the attitude sensor we read. When the servo turns to the leftmost, the servo position is 1 and the rightmost is minus 1. When the attitude sensor turns to the left, the y value is negative and to the right is positive. The middle position of the servo is 0 and the horizontal reading of the y exit of the attitude sensor is 0. So, as long as the variable of the servo position is added to the reduced attitude sensor reading, the servo will always maintain the level of the attitude sensor. Here we first reduce the y value by 150 times. If the action overshoot, it can be reduced by 200 times or more. This is equivalent to the p-value of the adjusted PID control. Since the limit positions of the servo positions are minus 1 and 1 respectively, we need to limit the servo position variable to this range. Transmit the calculated servo position value to the servo. Delay for a period of time. Now this simple stabilizer is ready. Of course, due to the corresponding speed of the servo and the error of the sensor, the stability of it is not very good. The solution is that to add common filter and PID controller based on this, we will update it in the specific tutorial. Here's the Python program for the common filter and PID controller. Make this DIY stabilizer more perfect if you are interested. Thanks for watching.